Greetings, Fallout 4 Wastelanders. Mr. Fox, 1701 here. And I'm here to show you how to put in a ceiling in the broken Kingsport lighthouse. And you can see that there's no roof and there's no ceiling in that upper floor. Now, I'm not going to do anything different than what Draco Invictus did. Below is a link to his video that he showed me how to do this. You can see there's no ceiling and if we want to put one in here the if we put in a regular wall it's too low. A upper shack floor will not fit in there and be level with that up there. We have to raise it up a little bit. And we have the ceiling fan we have to consider. So when we put together our insert we have to take these things under consideration. Again, Draco Invictus showed me how to do this. His video is out there, it's referenced below. I'm gonna do the same thing that he did, but I'm gonna have a little bit of an addition at the end that uh, I'm going to show you what I did. So you can watch his video, you can watch this, because I'm gonna do exactly what he did. Got a, we have a small floor section there, and we have a carpet piece already laid out, and I'm putting a wall on here like this. Next, we put the upper shack floor on top of the wall, because that's the only thing that will attach to it. There's an upper shack floor there. Now we need to put a ladder on this, because we need to get up there. Again, you can watch his video. You'll see this. By all means, watch it. He does a great job of showing us how to do this. We're gonna put a regular shack floor all around here on each of the sides of my upper shack floor that we're standing on. They're not all gonna stay, it doesn't matter. But the reason we put them there is because we're gonna put a regular shack floor on top of the upper, upper shack floor. This is to raise up our ceiling a little bit. We're gonna put this on here as best we can, line it up as best we can. If we did not put those floors off to the side, then this piece here would tend to clip into the side. So we put those pieces down first so that that won't happen. We're lining it up, looks pretty good. I'm gonna take that away. I'm gonna raise that up, take this piece away. Notice that I took that one shack floor and raised it up to the piece that we are now standing on. We're gonna put in some small pieces turning this. I like to have all my boards face one way. That's just me. doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. That area there is the blank spot for the fan. So here are some floor pieces that are going to bypass the fan that's up there. So we have a shack floor. We have a shack floor here. Remember the upper shack floor is below that. We don't need this piece. So we're ready. We have our insert that we're going to put in. So there you have it. You have the upper shack floor and everything else is on top of that and attached to the piece that's on top of the upper shack floor. Anyway, I did what Draco did. Now, I'm going to save here. I like to save whenever I build one of these things. and The reason being is that if I mess it up, I can't just pick it back up again. I'd rather reload the save. So now we're ready to pick this up and put it into the attic area there. This is some stuff I built before I end up getting rid of all this stuff. This is what I had before, before I watched Draco Invictus video and said, I like that. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to tear out all that other stuff and redo it. So now we're using the ribs of the wall to help us make this straight. You want to go to the left as best you can. I'm using the ribs of the wall. You can see the ribs look straight. And I want to push it forward slightly. That looks pretty good. Now let's go check it out. We go outside and look at the wall and make sure that you see the, the entire wall is sticking out, which is good. And you can see the short floorboards are bypassing the fan there. 
We have an upper shack floor sticking down. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to do what Vic did. I'm going to put down a floorboard, a regular shack floorboard, and we're going to get this as close to the wall as possible and yet still put in a, attach a regular wall to this piece. I am doing this all on the Xbox with no mods. And I'm recording this on the Xbox, which means I'm doing the voiceover after the fact. Which is always fun and challenging. I hope that's close enough. So I'm going to put a wall in here. The purpose of this, we're going to put a wall in here, we're going to attach a upper shack floor to it, and we're going to cover the fan. Again, this is what Draco Vic Invictus does in his video. Go and watch it. Give him, give him a like if you like. When this is all over, you give a comments below for on mine, and let me know what you think of what I've done with what he's done. So there it is, it's covered. We can take this out if we want. So now we have this upper shack floor here. At this point, Vic would take that out. He took that out, I believe. We're gonna do something with it. And then here we have these I'm going to do a save just in case what comes up next doesn't work. It does work, but just in case. I'm going to take these two floorboards out. This one and this one so that I can have access to my new attic. I'm going to put a ladder here and I can now walk up into my new attic. This is what I'm, ad I'm adding to this. And it doesn't quite get to the grounds so we're putting a floorboard there and I realize that that's probably too big for what I want to do next so I'm going to put in a smaller piece so we can go up into our new attic here now and you can see that uh, we have a nice neat little space that we can come up here and there's a bunch of garbage down there I'm going to get rid of I end up taking out all that stuff because what I'm going to do is attach everything to this. I'm going to use this new piece here as a reference. I can see that I can put the boards back in, which is good. Just in case I didn't like this, I can put the boards back in. So now I still have that, that upper shack floor there, which means I can attach a wall to it. So I'm going to attach a doorway to this. And it fits in there rather well. Yes, there's holes. I understand that. I don't worry about it. In my builds, I tend to allow for the fact that this is post-apocalyptic. We can't fill every single hole and cover everything. Take that mat out. Now this, to me, seems like a bathroom. This would make a great bathroom in here. So I'm attempting to put a floorboard. I'd like to have some floorboards go all the way across there, but I can't make it happen. So let's go over to the bathroom stuff as soon as I realize where it is. Sometimes I get lost in the menus. I forget where things are. There's the bathtub. That floorboard out doesn't do me any good. We're going to put in a toilet. I wish we could find decent toilets. It seems to be that in the real world that we would live in here, we see lots of good toilets out there. I would send somebody out, uninstall some toilets out there, and bring them back to my settlement and have a put in a decent toilet. I would have thought by now we would have gotten one of those. I guess we'll have to wait for mods. I'm going to put a doorway into this 
my new door frame that I put in here, I'm selecting one that will open in to the left. And I have a bathroom. I know I have to decorate it. I could rearrange a few things in there, but I'm just showing you what one can do. Now I've got this open wall over here. And I'm going to pull a little trick that I like to do with open half walls, walls that are only half wide. I don't really like to squeeze in those little half sections. I'm going to put this piece of furniture in here. I really like this piece of furniture here. It's tall and it fills in the gaps in the half walls. And I got lucky I was able to squeeze it in here. For some reason it's clipping right through that light on the wall there. That's good. So now I close up that area. And I'm going to put my ladder back to my new attic. So now I have a bathroom down there. I've got a new attic here. Looking at everything, that looks pretty good. Yes, there are some peepholes, I guess, but hey, nothing's perfect. But you have a bathroom. I decided I don't want that wall there after all because it does stick out outside. You can clearly see it on the outside, so I got rid of it. I'm going to go up here and start to lay some stuff down that I can attach to this new attic floor. I'm going to lay a small board here. I know it's not attached, but I couldn't make it attached to that spot right there. That's why I'm doing it this way. I'm going to put in a ladder. So now I can go right down the side of that. Again, all of this stuff here I take away later. I decide I don't want it. I want it to attach to this piece. Put down a ladder piece there. And there you have it. We've opened up some opportunities. And I hope you like this. It's, uh, I wouldn't call it an improvement. It's just another option. Just something else that we can do with this. But wait, everybody. There's more. I went crazy with this. After I got done with that build, I decided to go even further with it. I went to the extreme. That board there is the shack floor that's on top of my upper shack floor, like in the original video. I've added this whole side. These are all upper shack floors. Follow the pattern here. Instead of small ones, I got, well, there's the two small ones. I go all the way back here. I'm highlighting what I've added differently than in the previous video. That one there is the original one. Here's more here. On the bottom, on the floor that I'm doing, I've added that to the side, a little wing piece. That's the original floorboard. There's a wall. There's another one and another one. And the floorboard's going back. These are all going to stick out of the house when we're done. Take away the ladder. Pick this up and it turned red because it is sticking on things. So I, at first I thought it was worried, but it does work out. A lot of times when you pick things up and it turns red immediately, it just never wants to it just never wants to be placed but in this case it works out I'm going to go up here now i have a much bigger piece that i'm trying to insert here but i'm going to do the same thing that i did last time i'm going to use the ribs of those two walls to help me have it straight i'm trying to see to the far left there I'm trying to see over to the left now in hindsight You'll see later why, but I wish I'd moved it slightly over to the left a little bit further, but I didn't. So something is not going to work out a little bit in a little bit here, but you'll see. So when you go to do this, go slightly over to the left. Maybe the, 
the width of that rib on the far left there. And you want to go slightly forward. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, there we go. Now let me go check things out. It's pretty much what we did the last time, but now we've got more options. We've got some more floorboards added and clipping through this house that we can add to. Again, I wouldn't call it an improvement. I would just call it more options. Other things that you can do. Now I have this board here sticking out that I can add things to. Take away these walls and you can see down there that I've got a little bit of board sticking out. So rather than placing floorboards on top of this patio roof, I'm going to actually attach them to my my construct here. And I can't add that, unfortunately. I have to go to the smaller boards and throw some stuff in. That won't fit, unfortunately. I wish it would. That would have been nice. Again, I got the bathroom area here. But now I have a platform that I can add my toilet and bathtub to. Here's that area. I'm going to try to put that furniture piece in, but you'll see that it doesn't work. And I suspect it's either because I have floorboards there, which means it's pushing it up too high, or I'm not far enough to the left, but I can't get this piece in here, unfortunately. Probably because the floorboards are there, but if I remove them, then I'm kind of losing what I have outside, which you'll see in a little bit. So I gave up on that. So we have the attic up here. Let's take away those boards. By the way, you'll notice I didn't add the little ceiling to cover the ceiling fan in this particular build here. You can go back and do it. I just didn't do it for this one. I wanted to get through this. Our ladder up to the attic. Now you can see these boards all around the outside. Got nice little platform all around the outside. And here's some over here. I couldn't put one there. I couldn't notice that there's a missing floorboard. I couldn't put one there. It just wouldn't go. It would glitch out. I had to remove it. So next thing you're thinking is I got all these things sticking out and it, they just look like they're floating. Well, we can fix that by attaching some walls to it. And we're going to reference off from it. We're going to put our stairway in here and we're going to use that as a reference to add floors and then put in walls and we can build around the house. Similar to my video that I did on how to fix the ruse and sanctuary, another option, which is also referenced down here. You can take a look at that. It's just an option. It's other things that you can do. So I'm lining that up is what I'm trying to do there. I'm going to put in a wall up there, a different wall down here. I'm going to make them different. You don't want to have too many things that are the same. And you can see now when you put those walls in like that, it doesn't look like they're floating. And yes, there may be some gaps between these floors and the walls of the original building, but you can put some walls in there if you like on the right side there. Whatever you want to do. I'm just throwing some stuff up here quickly. I end up not keeping a lot of this. I'm just trying to show you what you can do. Now the upper shack, the upper shack floor that was up there, you can you can add walls to. It allows you to hang walls from it. So I'm just throwing some stuff up here just to cover it, just to show you that it, it, when you put walls in it, then it doesn't look like it, everything is floating. You could do some in the front here. Do, do it however you want. You can add some more flooring in here. You can go around. You have this platform here. You can put turrets on. 
use your imagination. I'm just showing you that by putting in a much larger piece, then you can do more with it. Now all this other stuff that I built previously, I end up tearing out so that I can attach it to my new build here. And make it all part of this floorboard. It won't go there. Looks like there's a railing in the way. But everything attaches nicely and it's very nice platform area that I have. Can put some walls around. Again, I could not put a regular floorboard in that area there. It just wouldn't let me for some reason. It wouldn't let me clip it. So I could put these in here, put some railings, a walkway an outside walkway. Here's another little machine gun nest perhaps. Maybe you can put a guard post there. Anyway, you get the idea. Just another option of things that you can do. So until next time, this is Mr. Fox 1701 with an addition to what Draco Invictus did showed us how to improve the ceiling in Kingsport Lighthouse. Until next time, this is Mr. Fox signing off. Thank you.